Welcome to the Social Regressive. Come on up here, y'all. I want you to see something. This is an Oklahoma ranch, and I've hunted on a good handful of these. You may have some water features going through. You're going to have creeks. Some of these can be really huge, so you'll have retention ponds going up to things that are almost retention lakes. There are going to be plains areas with lots of grass or maybe even just dirt. Uh, there are going to be mud wallers. There's going to be forest. And this could all just be one ranch. And not only is the, the terrain you know, possibly going to be really messy, where maybe there are hills, plains, all kinds of things going on and different uh, sorts of things growing, but we're actually going to have different animals as well and lots and lots and lots of them. So first off in the plains areas, you may have uh, little prairie dogs uh, poking up out of their mounds. And uh, you're going to get a whole bunch of those in that case. Uh, we may have some mud wallers and uh, have some hogs in there. We may have hogs coming around for a cool down. We could have coyotes. We give them lots of fangs. <laughs> These could be anywhere in here, through the forest, out into the fields. Uh, they could be along the water, whatever. Naturally, we'll have deer. I'll just put some uh, antlers here. You know what those are. We could have everything from badgers to bobcats. We could have all kinds of aquatic animals like turtles. Uh, this is actually a really wonderful ecosystem. If you ever get a chance to hang out on one of these big ranches or one of the, uh, the preserves that we have out here, you're going to see a really wide variety of animals. Everything from birds uh, out through ungulates, all kinds of things. And it's a wonderful hunting opportunity. And here's the deal. When you're out here, you may run across any of these at any moment moment and you really don't know uh, exactly what you're going to find, especially when it comes to hogs and coyotes. These guys just kind of wander all over the place and at any time of day, any position, you just kind of bump into them. And when that happens, I want a rifle that's going to be able to deal with them where they are. And right now we have hit just a perfect period for technology. Uh, the, we have a new cartridge out that is going to be just perfect for being able to deal with any of these animals, everything from tiny little varmints through coyotes, hogs, deer, You've heard me talk before about 243 Winchester and how flexible it is and how you can realistically use it with different loads. You can use it for any of these kinds of animals, everything that I would encounter on an Oklahoma ranch. But if I wanted something that could be you know, flexible enough that it's going to fit the AR-15 uh, carbine, if I could have a smaller rifle and have a cartridge that's going to, you know, it's going to have a whole bunch of rounds in here. I want something that I can get a whole lot of firepower. It's enough energy that I can actually, you know, very quickly kill any of these animals without just wounding them and be able to deal with them at different distances. This is something that we really haven't had this perfect combination before. And I want you guys to guess what cartridge I've selected for this build because I have one completely in mind and we're going to talk about that in the next video. I already have this worked out in my mind. The concept should be solid, but we're going to go all the way through testing on this and hopefully we'll be able to get some hunting at the very end and put this to the test and see how it works. Not only will we talk about the cartridge, the platform, how to build it all, we're going to get into some hand loading, we're going to talk about ammunition, and we're going to get into one of the most important things that's going to help me to get on target on any of these animals, and that is going to be the optics. We're going to have a very specific scope in mind, and I think that with just this one build, this one cartridge, this one platform, this one scope, I can deal with all of these animals, and it's not going to be hampered in any way. We could of course just pick one of these animals and one of these terrains and build a rifle completely around that and yes it would have a little bit of a sharper edge to it. However, I think that we can come away with something that's going to effectively work in this area with this platform. I've already selected all the parts that I'm going to use on my rifle, and if you want, you can follow along exactly. However, I'm going to show differences along the way. If you have maybe different animals, if you have different terrain, if you have a different shooting style, or maybe your eyes don't work the same way as mine do, or maybe especially if you have a different budget, I'm going to point out some different options. So if you want to be able to take things up a little bit and maybe reduce your weight, if you want to bring the budget down a little bit and get very similar effects without having to spend uh, quite so much, then 
then yeah, we're, I'm gonna show some of those options. And now naturally, some of this content we're not going to be able to show on YouTube, and when that happens, I'll have a little teaser video and it's gonna kick over to Rumble. And I'm gonna keep it all in one playlist. So if you wanna make sure that you aren't missing anything in this playlist, first of all, hit the notification bell down below. That's gonna let you know when new videos come out. And then also track along with the full playlist. I'm gonna put that down in the description below. And if you want, you can just uh, bookmark this, put it up somewhere, and you can see as we go along, uh, so you make sure you don't miss any steps, because we're gonna go all the way from parts out through testing, and then hopefully out on hunts. Thanks a lot, you guys, for watching. Thank you, patrons of the Destructive Arts, for making this possible. I know this is the kind of content you've really been waiting for, and it's been a little bit since I've done another uh, build project. But yeah, thank you for your patience, y'all, and thank you for uh, kicking us a few bucks so that we can help make this possible. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.